Salam namaste vanakum from Dane Fun College where we have reached a momentous milestone celebrating 10 years of Tarang School of Dance which tonight became the Tarang School of Production and we say congratulations to Deepa Prasant on a phenomenal occasion behind us we have the senior students of this academy <laughs> yes you heard it the senior students of the academy and we will be asking them a few questions pertaining to their dance journey. So, good evening, girls. Thank you for joining us. Um, just randomly, what is your greatest strength as a dancer? Look, I think to become a dancer, you need to have a love for the craft. And I think that is something I have. And I've developed a great passion for the, the, the art form. And I've had to become very disciplined. So I think those make me a good dancer. Oh, fantastic. What is your greatest weakness as a dancer? So sometimes it's difficult to understand the classical rhythm of uh, uh, any classical dancers. Some, so I have to listen many times to understand the classical rhythm. So I have to listen that in order to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Take some listening, yes. So how did you become a dancer? Tell me about your journey. So I used to watch a lot of Indian movies and a uh, lot of dance, classical dance videos. I started at the age of four where I couldn't complete it. I did about three years of dancing, eventually stopped uh, in between. I only started again when I was an adult, I actually had my first uh, child and I wanted her to be inspired by the dance form. I didn't want her to do, just go on stage and perform any, any modern dancing without actually understanding what dancing is all about so I in order to inspire her I joined her so we were the inceptions of the dance school so between my daughter and I we started the journey in 10 years we're still dancing on stage I'd never have guessed you're a mother <laughs> well done well done what advice would you give to aspiring dancers um, the advice I would give was you need to first have a passion for dance this art form requires a lot of dedication a lot of time a lot of patience um, and you need to be committed to um, the to the art to be able to um, excel in it definitely commitment is very important so tell me about your favorite um, art form as a dancer what is your favorite art form um, so out of all the ones that I've learned, I think uh, Kuchipudi is one of my favorites. Although it is pretty tough, you know, balancing on the plate and having um, the pot on your head, I think it's such a beautiful form, dance form, and requires a lot of practice, but I think it's one of the most beautiful ones I've danced yet. I must say that dance performance was something else, so <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. What dance styles can you perform? Um, so I can perform Bharatanatyam, uh, Kuchipudi, Mohaniatyam, as well as folk or semi-classical. Fantastic. And how many hours a day do you spend um, performing or how many hours a week do you spend learning the art form of dance? Okay, is dance is like a yoga for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to spend at least 15 minutes every day. So it's freshen up my mind. So is that where you find your quiet moment? Yes. Ah. yes. <laughs> and tell me about your teamwork experience. So with this performance specifically, we did a lot of different dances and then it's different teams, right? So it was about anywhere between 10 to 15 people performing and the way we all come together, it was just amazing learning experience also for me because we all different, come from different background and then everyone takes a lead role in teaching us something. We all, someone will say, okay, let's get all the accessories in the right place. Someone is checking, do we have all the people before the dance and the positions? So I've learned a lot uh, in this performance that everyone come together, cooperate to make this a success. And you can definitely see the commitment from everybody within this dance school because your teamwork is phenomenal. So congratulations, girls. Congratulations. <laughs> And the most important lady of today's momentous milestone, Deepa Prasan, congratulations on celebrating 10 years of Tarang School of Dance. So what does Tarang mean? Tarang means waves. Okay, that means we can't, in waves we can't see the end. So that means, that is the meaning of the dance actually. Because the dance we can't uh, see the end, you know. So... So that's the reason I put the name Tarang 
and uh, I learned uh, from India the Tarang Town School. My guru's uh, school name is also the Tarang. So I just want to follow same name. That is my Guru Dekshna for my guru. That's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. So, okay, in keeping with the name and keeping with the spirit, why did you open a dance school? When I came to South Africa, actually I started, uh, mm, you know, I seen uh, there is a no classical dance performance here. Okay, uh, I came to South Africa 2013, then I uh, went to the one community program. So I saw it that uh, so many people, so many children, they are wearing that, uh, you know, classical dance dresses and Mohini Atom and, and they are actually, uh, they want to do that classical dance, but there is uh, no platform for, you know, uh, the, um, the children want to learn it. It's a uh, when I'm seeing that the children, children, they are very carving. They want to learn. They want to know that what is the Indian classical dance and Indian tradition and Indian culture. They want to know that. So that's the reason they are wearing that, uh, you know, Mohini Atam dress and Bharanatyam dress and they are doing their own steps and they are doing in the stage. But after that community program, I, the same community program, I did one Kuchipudi. So after that, so many parents, they are asking me to start the dance school. But I don't, uh, you know, I am not thinking that I want to start that uh, dance school. Be because of that uh, parents, uh, you know, they are asking that uh, we need, uh, we, we need to uh, send the children to uh, learn the classical dance performance, not for the Bollywood. So that's the reason I started the dance club. Well, I'm so glad that the parents pushed you and I'm even more glad that you started the dance school because I noticed a vast difference between Bollywood dance and what I witnessed here today. Um, my personal opinion, and forgive me if I'm wrong, I think Bollywood dance is a little bit vulgar. There's no um, meaning to it. Sometimes it's um, not all that there, but I've noticed there's a lot of expression and steps that are in sync with classical dance. So can you elaborate what is the difference between Bollywood dance and the classical dances that we've witnessed here today? It's uh, Bollywood dance is also very nice dance because, you know, the Bollywood dance is a mix of different kinds of dance. It's uh, like um, belly dance, bo uh, you know, hip hop, acrobats, every people, they will they will mix it. But, uh, uh, you know, I, along with that uh, some rhythm, that uh, dance is very awesome. But I appreciate the Bollywood dance also. But in the classical dance, the classical dance, we have very good uh, um, fundamental you know uh, like a very good uh, base we have a very good base once uh, in my um, for my ex experience actually if you learn the classical dance that children that kids or can do the any other dance because they have very good fundamental um, basic uh, uh, syllabus so if they follow that they can copy any other dance Bollywood also can copy it but I think I like Bollywood dance. Uh, I'm not uh, saying any comments for that. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I've um, also heard you say, and I've also witnessed three different types of dance. So let me get this right. It's Bharatanatyam, yeah. it's Kuchipuri, yeah. and the last one, please. Okay, and what is the difference between the three? It's uh, Bharatanatyam is actually, um, you know, uh, we are, um, when we learn Bharatanatyam, first we are focusing on the steps and uh, the body thing, you know, very stiff and uh, strength we have to use for the Bharatanatyam. For the Mo uh, Kuchipudi, actually the Kuchipudi and Bharatanatyam is just there is no difference there. There is a slight difference that uh, for Kuchipudi, we are uh, doing a little bit of flow and like. But in Kuchipudi Tarangam, another thing is also there. That That is uh, that we are balancing for that um, plates and uh, pot also. So that is a, a, um, different for the Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi. And Mohini Atam is entirely different. Mohini Atam, we need a flow. You know, you've seen that Mohini Atam and that the costumes also very different. And uh, this Mohini Atom from Kerala only, so uh, more important is expression. And Bharatanatyam Kuchipudi also have expression, but in Mohini Atom we are focusing on the expression and the flows also. 
I've noticed a lot of intricate eye movements, finger movements, hand movements. Yes, yes. So does that have to do anything with the spiritual element behind the dances? No, no, nothing that one. Because people think that uh, it's uh, classical dances, uh, it's only for the Hindus or Christian. No, not like that. Everyone can do that because in India, there's so, so many people in all the caste or all the religious people, they are learning that classical dance because India has a rich, uh, you know, uh, culture heritage. So uh, we have to learn that is, um, that's, that's for nice. <laughs> so I can bring any non-Indian here and you'll be able to teach them the same yes. fundamentals of dancing? Yes, yes, definitely I will teach you. Fantastic. So you have celebrated 10 years of Taranga School of Dance. Congratulations Thank once again. Much. What is your message to everyone that attended this program here today? Mm, my message is everyone can dance. <laughs> you know, every age is uh, not a um, thing. So everyone, even the old or elder or everyone can dance. But you can try it. Yes, we will. Huh? You can try it. So in my class, you know, that 70 years, uh, 65 years, the last time that is one lady, she did uh, Arangetam, she's uh, 55 years and she's a white lady and she's uh, actually she's 55 now and uh, this year uh, for the Tharang party, she also supposed to come there but uh, mm, she got a one small accident so that's why she's not participating for the 10th year anniversary. So. <laughs> That is my message. Everyone can do that. So Deepa is now accepting registrations from the pensioners <laughs> to join her dance school. Congratulations and thank you so much. I'm Nazneen. You're watching Chick Productions TV. Don't forget, like and subscribe.